So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our biology exam revision series, you'll learn about photosynthesis and limiting factors. Please ensure to stay to the end of this video as this is an important topic in your biology. So photosynthesis uses energy to change carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. This process takes place in the chloroplasts in green plants and they contain pigments like chlorophyll that absorb light. So energy from the environment is transferred to the chloroplasts by light. Photosynthesis is endothermic, which means energy is transferred from the environment in the process. So now let us consider the equation of photosynthesis. So here we have the equation where carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of light will yield glucose plus oxygen. So plants use glucose in five main ways. Number one is for respiration. This transfers energy from glucose, which allows the plant to convert the rest of the glucose to various other useful substances. Number two is for making cellulose. The glucose is converted into cellulose, which makes up a strong plant cell wall. The next is for making amino acids. The glucose combined with nitrate ion to make amino acids, which can then be made into protein. Glucose can also be stored as oil or fats by converting them into lipids and storing them in seeds. And lastly, they can be stored as starch. So this is done when they are turned into starch and then stored in the roots, stems and leaves of the plants. So next, let us consider the limiting factors that affect the rate of photosynthesis. So the rate of photosynthesis is affected by the intensity of light, concentration of carbon dioxide and temperature. So any of these three factors can become a limiting factor. That means it can stop the photosynthesis from happening faster. These factors have combined effects on the rate of photosynthesis, but the factor that is limiting at a particular point in time is dependent on the environmental factors. For instance, at night, it's pretty obvious that light is the limiting factor, whereas during winter, temperature is the limiting factor. But in a time where there is enough light and there is enough warmth, then carbon dioxide can become a limiting factor. Chlorophyll can also be a limiting factor of photosynthesis. And the amount of chlorophyll in a plant can be affected by disease or environmental stress, such as lack of nutrients. So these factors can damage the chloroplast or cause it not to make enough chlorophyll. So the overall effect is a reduced rate of photosynthesis since there is not enough chlorophyll to absorb light. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you are new to this channel, please ensure to join our Telegram channel using the link in the description of this video below to get instant updates and notifications for your exams. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends if this video was helpful. Also ensure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.